we have arrived here in Brandon, South Dakota. Competing at the Houston Speedway tonight with our 410 Sprint car. Second trip to this uh, racetrack in my lifetime, but second trip here during our 2023 Midwest Tour. Tight little bull ring with a lot of banking and usually some grip. The reason I really wanted to come back to this joint after we ran here was just because it kind of felt similar to home. Out here in the Midwest, it's easy to be out of your element. A lot of big tracks, I use the word gigantic. But when I came to Houston, it just kind of felt like I was at Skagit, maybe felt like I was in California. And I thought, man, our car can get around this place. And we ran seventh that night and we're hoping to improve on it today. So they're just rolling the racing surface now. You can see everyone pitted in the infield and beautiful grandstands across the way. And here is a look at our car. So I'm excited to get the night underway. I think we have anywhere from 24 to 26 410 sprint cars in the pit area. This place is a pretty standard format. So here soon we're gonna get in our fire suits. Then we're gonna get some engine heat, have hot laps and roll right into single car qualifying. wrapped up qualifying here at Houston Speedway and a great start to the night. Went out early, which I do think, you know, played in our favor a little bit, but still we nailed our lap, our first one. The second one, we had a small hiccup in three and four. I think my dad actually, you know, we're trying to be as light as possible. I think he ran a little too low on fuel and it's almost like it sloshed to one side when I went in the corner and then it just cut out for a second while I was trying to pick it up and it wasn't getting any. But our result, third quick out of 26 cars compared to last time I was here my car feels much better I'm able to like get down into the corner but not too much like it's very stable and it's like a slow transition from going straight on the straightaways to getting rotated in the corners I'm almost like a little a little tight which is good in hot laps I was tight and I was like all right well maybe the track will come to us as it widens out a little bit and just loses a tiny bit of moisture but I think our time was a 10 8 ended up a uh, quick time ended up being a 10 7 so we were about a tenth off maybe if we could have got that second lap in we would have been at the top of the charts now though we're going to be getting ready for a heat race four car invert we're going to start second row outside i believe we need to really try to at least maintain our position at worst or try to go one spot forward to lock into tonight's top eight redraw
not a stellar heat race there, but we did do our job and started fourth, finished fourth. Early on, I got into third, and then we had a yellow, and I gave that spot up. I've kind of been nervous with, as the night goes on, I think I've kind of pinpointed where we're running into an issue with our car. It's kind of hard to explain, but to kind of keep it simple, in a way, I think we're almost getting so tight that we're free with our balance. And so no matter how I drive it, there's a couple of ways that it, that it can go on track, and it's just not making any grip and actually out there it almost looks like I'm loose like uh, maybe a person that doesn't watch a lot of racing goes man that car just looks really free and I don't think that's 100% the case it's just like when I get in the corner um, sometimes if I don't get down enough I just kind of slide across the track sometimes I'm getting down as far as I possibly can and then I'm rolling over on the right rear I'm rambling on but long story short we do have a problem on our hands and we kind of ran into it throughout the trip and sometimes I thought it just happened out of nowhere but it seems like it's a little more consistent with our setup but that's our challenge we need to work on now we did make the redraw. I think we're the fifth guy to pull a card or a pill or something. So that's good. We'll be starting the first four rows tonight. We got to focus, get zoned in, try to fix this thing a little bit, and be ready for our 25 lap race. hoping maybe we were gonna get the one there but ended up uh, with the six so we will be rolling out from the third row outside starting position while we did the redraw they did touch up the racetrack they just tried to fluff the top just to make it to where it could build up maybe a little bit of a ledge uh, it almost seems like it's just been dirty all day and there maybe wasn't enough moisture up there where it kind of just turned to crumbs with the Sun out and the bottom I mean the bottom's so good that it just keeps throwing material across the track and it makes it hard to really run anywhere else uh, I think it's very possible that that could be the lane all 25 laps of the feature. It's just a little bit more gripped up uh, than last time. We're gonna have to see though. They might work on the surface again. I'm not sure, but hopefully the little work they did will kind of bring in that top lane and we'll be able to move around here throughout the A. So about to push out. Excited to be starting farther up front. Really hoping to take advantage of it. Run a smart race. Try to be in contention. We can move forward.
Well, just got back to the pit area, and uh, before before I start talking about and critiquing our A main and talking about where I was disappointed with things, I do have to acknowledge, I think this was our best 410 finish of the trip. Houston's Weekly is not easy competition. We're racing around some good guys and, and not having the laps here. It's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a challenge to get up to speed just like anywhere else. But tonight we did a lot of things right. We qualified well. We kind of got off course in the heat race, but I talked about that issue before the A, and I believe we fixed it to where I could run really hard and not be worried about my car doing weird things. So yeah, we started sixth, finished fifth, top five. That feels good. I just, uh, just disappointed because I think we could have had more. I felt really good down in three and four. I could send it in there and not have a worry in the world. My car just dug. And it was in the track. It went through the holes well. Any uneven spot, it didn't have a problem. I just needed to be a little bit better in one and two, and I just needed to charge the corner more. It did have a little bit more of a ledge, so it was easy to get tripped up. And also maybe once I got going, I should have tried the bottom a little bit more there late because I think it was still good. I just was trying to carry momentum around the top and got up to fourth. You know, we didn't have any yellows early and then you know just wasn't good on the restart and gave up a spot to Dusty Zomer and I don't know if my right rear was starting to go down but it definitely did blister and I think that's also why I was a little tight just there at the end and uh, anyway not bad top five here at Houston's this track's fun it's got a lot of potential and I think if our team ran here more uh, we could we could definitely you know be farther up front contending for wins and you know park it in victory lane on a night so just wrapping up here at the track, got changed in my street clothes, have a fan that wants to be in the video. What's your name? Garrett. And Garrett, where are you from? Uh, Brandon. What do you think of this racetrack, you know, being here close and seeing this place on a weekly basis? I think it's great just being able to come here every week, see some sprint car racing, especially the 410s, that's my favorite. So just coming here every week, get to see the big boys race, that's what I like. It's an awesome show, it's an awesome show. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, for sure. I've talked to you guys how great the fans are here. Um, Houston's has such a good local car count, local fan base and people just love the place and we definitely need to be back in 2024. So everything is back in the box. And I can tell you this, our conversation to end today's video is much better than a couple of our previous nights. We really, once again, just found our footing here at Hussitz and you know, now stepping back, especially how rough our trip has been at some points or struggling with our car. It was refreshing today that I felt like we had a good grip on it and we just ran well overall. It's so important to qualify. We did that and I was really happy with where our car was. You know, we struggled there in the heat race but we made some adjustments we fixed it for the feature and we gave ourselves a shot to run well and with all that considered it's something for us to be proud of as a team and an operation top five at Houston's we'll take it and we are now getting ready to roll into the Knoxville 360 and 410 nationals big thank you to everyone that supports our race car and our program Shane DeWald trucking RTR diesel performance next gen def Lafarge Carson pit stop USA ABC powder coating canopy country earth environmental uh, we also have fast four media land and transport champion car wash D ray designs Venendal trucking and full send racing and then of course my family and crew and you guys as a community and all my great support that I get from my fans it means the world uh, glad that we you know got the 18 T actually I should say we got credited with the fourth place finish because the, the car in front of us didn't scale I still consider we ran fifth but nonetheless a top five and what the result actually looks like on paper and definitely want to get back to Houston's in 2024 because this place it's fun it's a little hard to pass but you know I think we run well here and with you know more laps and more races we could be in victory lane so see you guys all in the next video deuces